Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. You're looking at possibly what you will think is a familiar box because actually I had a box exactly like this arrive at my house with beautiful fairy rosy primrose in it but my box had holes in it. Now this has come and it doesn't have a fairy in it I don't think. It's come from Suzanne of Suzanne's Baby, excuse me, <coughs> who you all know. And it is, well, I, I didn't want to tell you until after the event, but it was my birthday. And I just didn't want you all to think, oh, we better say happy birthday to her, because really it's okay. But, but Suzanne knew it was my birthday, and um, she sent me this parcel, which all I've done is just, you can see what I've done, I've just open the top. I haven't actually opened it yet because it's a bit of a, a bit of a struggle. Anyway, it it was my birthday a little while ago and unfortunately because now this sounds bizarre, but just because I've got a sore leg I couldn't get to open this and that is because my sore leg is um so sore that I actually can't walk around very much. I have to plan, you know, a few a few um do a few things at once because I just the pain is just too much. I'm having a lot of appointments and physio and even painkillers now, which I don't normally trouble with because they don't usually do much. So I'm I've started some new painkillers yesterday. We'll see if that does anything at all. And physios and podiatrists and GPs and the whole bit and just goes on and on. But the problem is that because I can't really walk much and everything takes me so long because I have to walk super slowly. Um, I just haven't had a chance to get to my box. I just have trouble getting through each day and what I need to do. So I'm really sorry about that. But as you can see, I haven't opened it. I haven't touched it except to cut that off. So, And also, I'm not sure if this brown tape was put on by... Um, a post office somewhere or if Su because there was some breakage or if Suzanne did that so I'm not sure because there isn't any brown tape on it see anywhere else so I'm just unsure about that anyway she might tell us in the comments so I thought I might just tell you a little bit about my leg because I may as well and you can fast forward through all of that if you're not interested because I know other people's um, health problems aren't always that um, What's the word I'm looking for? Well, enticing is not the right word, but you know what I mean. So I tell you what happened was that on my left leg, which is the leg that's hurting so much, I have to wear a thing called an AFO, which stands for ankle foot orthosis. And it's really, I call it a splint, just because that's really what it is. And it holds my leg um, in the right position, my foot in the right position, so I can still walk. I it has to have a shoe on it all the time. So it means that when I get up in the morning, I can't stand up, I can't take a single step until I have this splint on and my shoe. Otherwise, I just can't walk. I would fall over and break my ankle probably. Anyway, so I always have to have this, this splint with me. Now, my old splint had a crack in it, most likely from the car accident, although they do crack over time, but I think the car accident just made it hurry up a bit. So I got in touch with a lovely, lovely man called Joe, who is actually originally from California, who um, has been making my splints ever s for 20 years. In September it will be 20 years. And I found out that he'd retired while I was in hospital. And he wasn't even that old. Like, seriously, Joe, that was not fair. And he didn't even tell me, the rotten guy. Anyway, so there was no lovely Joe anymore. And actually, you know, he was so lovely that Jen often used to come out with me because he, his, where he worked was a long, long way away from here. But Jen used to come with me just so that we could have the fun of chatting with Joe. So anyway, he was lovely and always looked after me, made me great splints. I never had any trouble. So when I came out of hospital, I had to find a new splint maker. Now, in the meantime, what's happened over the years, which I wasn't aware of, is that the people who, not the, so much the people who measure you up for the splints, they're called orthotists, but the people who are the technicians who actually make the splints are in very short supply all over the world. So apparently what's been happening is we've been training them up here in Australia and hoping that they would stay here, but they get offered lucrative money overseas and go overseas so it's really hard to find someone to do the work but anyway I did I dug around hunted hunted came up with 
someone very local, only a couple of suburbs away from me, and I thought, oh, brilliant. So off I trotted. Did Jen come with me that first time? I think she may have. Yeah, she may have even dro driven, because maybe I didn't have a car. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what happened. So this is going back a couple of months ago, and we went together and met this man, Stuart, who works with other people in, in this company, and he said, well, he needs to make me a completely different splint, and he was very um, dismissive of the splint that I was wearing at the time, you know, my Joe splint. Um, so I thought, oh my goodness, do you think really that I've been having, you know, the wrong splint for all these years where I could have had something better that was better for my, my leg and my foot? So anyway, he made me this very flash splint and charged a lot of money for it. And I had to wear it gradually, so, you know, an hour the first time and maybe just an hour the second time and just ease into it to make sure that it wasn't hurting me and stuff like that. So I did that, I persevered. Um, and then I realised it just wasn't going to work. And then at the, about the same time, I got this massive pain in the back of my leg. And so I went to my GP and I went to my podiatrist, who my podiatrist, by the way, was trained as a surgeon in, in leg, a leg and foot surgeon, as well as being a podiatrist. So he knows, you know, he knows a ton about all that stuff. And they both agreed that the splint had damaged my leg and I mustn't wear it. And what has actually happened is, because the splint was too high and too straight, it's actually um, damaged the nerve <coughs> excuse me, be, that runs up behind my knee. So, and then what happens is, as a result of the damaged nerve, all the muscles go into spasm to protect the nerve. So that's been my problem. And that's why um, it's been a bit trickier over the last, well, I don't know, month and a half or however long it's been. So, yeah, that's my story. That's why I haven't been able to get to this box the day it came. It's only been here, I think, is it three days, so it's not too bad. And actually, amazingly, this morning, after I've done this and hung out a load of washing, I have to go and meet with an insurance investigator because, for some reason that I don't know yet, the girl who caused the accident is now denying that she had anything to do with it, which is very odd, seeing as there were two police cars there countless witnesses all around me, an ambulance and all that stuff. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I'm very curious to find out. And apparently the interview or the, our meeting might take up to four hours. So I have no idea what's going to happen. So I'm, quite, I'm looking forward to it. One of my daughters will be with me. And I'm just really wondering what on earth he's going to say. So I'm very curious. Anyway, uh, let's get back to the main the main thing which is this box. Before I show you what's in it, or before we both look at what's in it, I'll just show you this card that came separately. Isn't that beautiful? It's all got glitter on it as well, which is one of the things, I think I've told you before, but at every one of my children's birthdays, and there have been many, trust me, I always buy a card with, a, with glitter on it. And this card has glitter on it. It says, for a for a special friend on your birthday, it means so much to send a happy birthday wish to you. Because you're such a special friend from every point of view, you're lo loyal and considerate, you're thoughtful, warm and kind, the sort of friend who leaves a trail of happiness behind. And it's got a beautiful teddy on the front. And he's holding a big daisy and a pink envelope with a blue bow and it says, with love, on the daisy. So that's just beautiful, isn't it? So thank you very, very much for that, my friend. That's a really beautiful card. Now, shall we do this? Which is what you've all come to see. Now, if you fast forward it, you've come to the right spot, because here we go. So we have bubble wrap, which we've put to the side. We have more bubble wrap. We have more bubble wrap, which will come in handy. I never chuck out bubble wrap. Now, let's see. We've got something, let me show you what it looks like in there. That's what the inside of the box looks like. Oh, okay. A bit more bubble wrap. Let's get that out. And then let's see what we've got here. Let's see if I can pull that out so you guys can see it too. Just um, keep going a bit more. That's one of those things. Oh, and there's something else in there. Okay. Right. I'll just move everything messy up out of the way. You just heard something crash. I'll grab that. And then we'll have a look and see what's in here. I'll just move all this stuff out of the way. 
so we don't have to look at it. My card there, just in case you can still see that. Okay, we all set now? Yes. Okay, let's do this one. Let's have a look at this. Wow, what is this? Oh, ho, 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 ho. yamo. Oh, yamo, guys, look at this. Very well protected, beautiful, big box of chocolates. Oh, my goodness. She knows my weakness. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Look at that picture on the front. That's all swirly chocolate. Oh, my mouth is watering because I haven't had brekkie yet. So, well, that's probably not the real reason, is it, everybody? Let's be honest. Now, this card was in the box. And the reason Suzanne sent a separate card because the box was taking so long to get here. Because no matter how much we pay for postage, we, it, things just don't arrive when they're meant to. So this is a beautiful card. I'll read it to myself afterwards. It's got roses on it. Beautiful, beautiful roses. Pink and apricot. I think light pink and dark pink. Isn't that gorgeous? Sitting in a pot. So I'll have a look at that afterwards. And here are the chockies. So as I was saying, my mouth is watering, but I can't really use the excuse of not having had breakfast yet, even though that's the truth. But, you know, it wouldn't matter what time of day I was looking at this box. Would it? No. In all honesty, it wouldn't, because I would feel the same at any time of day. Let me just move that out of the way. Oh, no, that's not nice. I want to get it right out of the way. I always feel a bit disturbed when I'm looking at videos that have stuff all messy around them. I don't know what it is, because what difference does it make? None, really. Okay, so we'll just move that a little bit out of the way, and we'll get to this one. Let's have a look at this. All wrapped in bubble wrap. If I need to go and get scissors, I will, but hopefully we can do this. Now today, let me just tell you about today because it's beautiful outside. It's bright blue sky day and it's going to be 25 degrees Celsius. Now can you believe it? That is unheard of in, in August because we, normally in August it's classified as one of our winter months. Admittedly, it's the final winter month, but but still, I mean, 25 degrees is a normal, like, spring and summer sort of temperature. So, yes, very, very warm. Now, I have a, a feeling I might know what this is. Can you guys tell? Let's have a look. I think this is a little bubble wrap bag here. Look at this. Oh, look what she's done. Look, let me show you properly. A beautiful, beautiful pig. Now, he is solid. Let me just put him down. Can you hear that? He's solid. He's, he's, I think he's probably resin. And isn't he beautiful? Look at his little face. He's a piglet, not a pig. He's a piglet. And he's brown and he's got black spots. And his ears are sticking out and he's got a little curly tail. Let's have a look at his beautiful face because he's got the sweetest eyes. Can you see that? How sweet he looks and his little piggy nose. Now this pig is something that I admired in one of Suzanne's videos a long, long, long time ago when she went to visit her garden centre. And I just saw this pig as she was sort of panning around looking at things. And I, I said, oh, that pig is so cute. Well, guess what she went and did? She went and bought the pig for me. And here he is. I think he's adorable. I love pigs, by the way. Pigs have always been, um, just, I j have just always loved them. There's something about them. And I know I'm not the only one who feels that way about pigs. I think one of the things I love about them is the fact that when you go and see real pigs, they're actually massive beasts. They're huge things. And when you see a mummy pig, she's massive. And she's got all her little baby piglets around her. And I think that's why I just love them, because they're unexpected things. They're much smaller than what you expect. But now I have my very own piglet. And he's a garden piglet. And as much as I would love to have him in my front garden so people could admire him, I wouldn't risk that, just in case some silly teenager walking past decided to to liberate my pig and give him a new home. So he will live in the back garden somewhere. I'll take a photograph of him before too long and show you where he lives. Although he can move around, can't he? He could live anywhere he wanted to. So he's beautiful, isn't he? So thank you very much for my beautiful presence. 
They're, they're gorgeous. They're very, very thoughtful presents for me, and I really appreciate them. And um, I have one more thing I'd like to show you, and that is this beautiful little bottle that I bought. Let me move this out of the way so you can really see it properly. Just go there for a minute, darling. Okay. This beautiful little bottle. I found it on eBay, and it's. I bought it in Australia, so and it was free postage. But the cost of the bottle was outrageous. But it's glass, which I love. I tend to only collect glass if I can help it. And it's very little. It's a. It's a four ounce. I know you can get smaller, but but um, it, this is the smallest in this. It's well, that Sophie Giraffe um, brand. And it's, so it's clear glass and it's got a like a beautiful pale aqua circle on it and it's got M-I-I, that must be the brand, and then a clear picture, of, a see-through picture of Sophie Giraffe on it. And then it's got, if I turn it around, let's see, it's got the measurements there. And at the top, it's got another little picture of Sophie Giraffe there. And I just thought it was lovely. I've actually put... Um, a no hole teat in there in case I ever use it, but I probably won't. So it came with a slightly different teat, but this is this is one of those special ones. Yeah, so I just got that. Actually, that was a drama getting it. it. I didn't have to come from very far, just from the next state across. And after two weeks of me waiting for it, um, I wrote to them and I said, it's not here yet. And they said, oh, OK, we'll find out what's going on. And then they said they would dispatch it from their Sydney warehouse, which they could have done in the first place, and it was here within two days. So I wonder why it didn't ever get to me in the first place. Because, I mean, that's one of the things, good things about buying local is that you know you're going to get it quickly, whereas everything I get from overseas, or almost everything, takes forever and a day. So there's the sweet little bottle. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm working on my next video and the one after that which I'm going to show Pippa and Jonty because Sue Drinkwater has been missing them so much and I tend to forget about them because they're fast asleep in their bassinet. But I will find something to dress them in and I'll come back and show you soon. I'll probably show you Lottie once more before then. So anyway everybody, um, wish me luck with the insurance investigator. I'll come back and report to you in my next video and tell you what happened and exactly what he wanted. And so in the meantime, everyone, um, take care and be kind to each other. Bye-bye.